Good day, folks. How y'all doing? This is Friday the 5th of April, I think it is. Yeah. And right there, we have a air pistol. I bought a Prince Sato. It was, I don't know, $140. I got him for 68 It's a clearance sale or something like that. Not the one I wanted. I want the, the Colt 45, but they had one left and there was no bullets for him. You put the BB in the bullets and then you put a hair of carriage. Yeah, so anyhow, I went with this one. But it should be all right. And right now, I just wet formed the magazine. Yeah, for him, so. And we'll show you that there now. There we go. That wet formed. Take 24 hours to dry that. Totally dry it. That's what you want, Cynia. So right now I'm going to move on to making the case, the holster for this one. He should be come up choo -choo -choo, go up across here. Then a leather strap coming over around there with a belt loop. And this one there is going to have a belt loop. Yeah, so anyway, guys, shoot a few squirrels later on. Probably are a bit of target practicing. Now they're not the high powerful guns. They're just, uh, this one there is 400 and 410 feet per second, which is not bad, but it's only limited to 20 yards, probably 15. Yeah, so great level, a great little gun over in the cabin. So, anyway, guys, so I'm going to move on now and we're going to start making also for this one. All right, now I got two belt loops done. I know this one there is going to be going on this one on the back there. It'd be sort of like this. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use this here or not, but I made an anyhow. And. <clears throat> right now I'm getting ready to do the holster yeah so any guys and it's only going to be one layer I was going to do a double layer but I find pins and that if you pin these on the holster you're going to shave on them but I'm going to so be sewing this on so <clears throat> yeah one layer would be enough I'm using the I might be using the eight nine ounce if I got in the air. If not, it'd be a five to six. It's pretty well like gone anyhow, right? So it's a it's not a heavy gun. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, see what happens. All right, my wet form that you know, see just throw it in the water and five minutes, and then you can mold it pretty well, whatever way you want to, like this one here. Anyway, guys, we'll get back to you shortly. Okay, it's the next day there now, and uh, I got me a uh, magazine molded. Excuse the mess on the desk there. All right, he fits pretty good. Yeah, a little bit wrinkly right there, but that's, uh, that's still okay. I figured he was so high to mold. Yeah, that one's done, and the belt loop is done. So this is gonna be belt loop. I'm pretty well sure. Yeah, and I'm gonna have a right hand carry, so that is be going on this side. What I done here was trace to the gun and put three quarter inch border around for the welt. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So far, so now we're going to go and uh, cut the letter. This nice thick welt from there too. I got some uh, 10 ounce letter there. I'm going to cut it out of that. Or layer up a couple. See what happens. Yeah, there you guys, we'll uh, get on to that, I guess. Okay, guys, I got a piece of letter here now from uh, Weaver Craft. Uh, it's about seven to nine ounces, and this is the pattern. Yeah, now what I've done to get this pattern, I looked at the, the guy on there done a video. 
roughly of the same gun as this and like the pattern so and they're pretty good at uh, doing up their pattern so I just followed along and made my own yeah so what we're going to do here now I'm going to cut this out and this here part will be the whelk the left ear and I might double up or I might go get a big one it depends so yeah anyway guys I'm going to trace this out down and uh, cut it out there we go, we got a cut out. I'll I put a bit of water on it and uh, traced out this little pattern there to put the weaver basket on. This is the tool I'm using. Yeah, so now we're gonna continue on with that and uh, we'll get back with you shortly. All right, just finished up the stamping. So I think it's gonna look all right. There's a few mistakes in it, but I uh, never done no stamping now in oh, years now. Something like that. Oh yeah, so it's coming around. Yeah, what we're gonna do now is put on the uh, belt loop. I gotta figure out what die I'm gonna use there now first. <clears throat> Excuse me. And put on my belt loop and then we'll uh, put the whelk in and get her together yeah yep any guys check back with you later yeah folks i got the whelk put in all glued up yeah so i'll leave this for a bit there now and uh, while this is drawing I got a couple of envelopes of the week. Now we'll be uh, going down to the Wall of Fame for a second or two. Yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, I just come down to the shade there now and just waiting for that glue to dry there on that uh, leather holster there. Yeah, big job that one is. Yeah, I got a few uh, letters in the mail this, this week. One from Joel. I think he's down from Kentucky, down around that area. Let's do the Yeah, he sent me a little note there. Appreciate that, buddy. And it's from the wooden iron cookie. Yeah, there you go. Get it in me in, right? The wooden, the wooden iron cookie. Yeah, just a lot of cast iron cooking and cast iron and and. And he's doing some gardening there the once he was saying and camping out. I should be able to film on that. And this one. Yeah. Thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate that. You're on the wall of fame. And next one's from me, uh buddy Kirk over at uh Kirk Norder 51. I'll pin you up there too now. Thanks a lot, buddy, Kirk and Joe. Appreciate that. Yeah. Have a look at our wall of fame. Oh, yeah. Cool, eh? Link spa. Oh, unreal. Hey guys, I'd send uh, put down a link down to Joel and uh, Kirk's channel there now. Go check the guys out, the great great YouTubers, and then yeah, like I said, now Joel's into cast iron cooking, farming, well, gardening, sorry, and um, camping, and he got his own backyard cooking unit there and all that stuff. Yeah, you love it, and Kirk is into into everything really. He's uh, yeah, he's hands on. He, there's a lot of stuff and gives away and you know pretty pretty crafty fella you know you take a piece of wood and make anything out of it 
Yeah, yeah guys, take care and all the best. And back to the Ulster. And we're back. Yeah. Yeah, that was a couple of nice stickers, eh, from Kirk and Joe. Oh, appreciate it there, guys. Like I said now, leave the link down below. Yeah, as far as we've got done here now, I'm leaving this overnight, let it dry up really good. I got this one here put on. And well the belt loop. So this here is gonna come over around and sort of be there like this with a snap. It's supposed to be lined up square with that line there, but see what happens in here. And that'll be it for this video. The next video will be making the case for this one, putting on the belt loop and dyeing it. Yeah, and anyway, guys will uh Hopefully that video will come up now for never know tomorrow night or next night. I'm trying to get this one air done now. So we're supposed to be going in the cabin. Snow's almost gone. So I was trying to get in the cabin. I want to get in and, you know, there's a few squirrels giving me a pain in the heart sitting there. So you could get it. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and all that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next one.